he's a strong man. I don't hate myself. Yeah, uh, right, first, right. Uh, first yeah. off, I'd like to introduce, introduce yourself, please. And your name is, sir? David Lightman. David Lightman. And you, how long have you been living here on, on Chuck Peak, working on? Working on that? Yeah. I've been here, but. How about, like, not sitting here, but working here before the audience. For the audience, yeah. all right. So we've been here for a while. Evidently, um, what we want to talk to you about is uh, what, what is your, your take on basically the conch fisheries in the Berry Islands, Chubki and all the rest of the islands, and also what what do you think about marine protected areas as it pertains as it pertains to that? Which, you know, you can give us a little history on you know the conch, you know, what you were seeing back in the day in the sixties and what on, and what's happening now, and just the fishery as a whole. How do you think we should deal with that? You know, uh, to but, protect it. All right. It was 50 odd years ago, man. We used to go around here. Like, you could go out here in the nighttime and get caught. Mm -hmm. You know, you could go on the grass any mm -hmm. place and they'll pick up caught. Right, but right. But now, you know, you got to go so far for caught right now. Like, mm -hmm. Right now, they get, like, you know, we got, we got too much caught out there now. Mm -hmm. And what they're doing now, they clean it up, you know. And what they're doing is picking them all around here, all the babies. Mm -hmm. You know, that's need to, uh, at least stop. Close the season around here for at least about, say, three years. True. Yeah, okay. you know, mm -hmm. at least round job. Okay, all right, all right. Yeah, round job, you know, you know it's, yeah. it's right now, come getting scarce. Yeah. Okay, all right. So, 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 Chub Key in the area in Chub Key, there should be a close season. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, at least about three years. That's so they can find some place else to go. Okay, all right. This is Ted. This is Ted Thompson right there. He's a rookie. <laughs> right. He's a rookie. He's a rookie. Yeah. He has one or two questions he wants to ask you. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you're talking about how you think the marine protected area is a good thing, right? Like, do you think it's a good thing for the Mariana? Like, particularly yeah, because it could be anywhere else. Why would it be important if we have this MPA here? Around here, you know, like, most of the boats come in, most of the people come out here with conquering here. They got a lot of, they come here conquering and fishing and everything, oh, cleaning up everything around here. Lobster and everything. Most folks, you mean like most folks that's not so? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, most folks not so. They come, they need to try, you know, go someplace else for a while, you know, try to fish, they get a rest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they, you know, they clean it all bad. Like, like Although one. you see out there. Yeah. But you won't see out there no boat there yet. Yeah. yeah. So now you see, but 12, 13 boats will be out there. Better than. <laughs> If you start to kill out all the little baby, all the little baby ones, what are we gonna have for tomorrow? Mm -hmm. What are we gonna have for our children mm -hmm. and your children, mm -hmm. whoever children that comes up, you know? So we either we protect them or we gonna lose them, or we gotta put a boundary on them or do something mm -hmm. that it, it be a season for it. Would you be an advocate for uh, a closed season for Kong? I would be happy enough to sign up for it. I, I, it, it, it should mm -hmm. have a closed season. Because it gives the come time to reduce. Mm -hmm. I think you should be able to catch come every three years. Old. Right. You know, it's it's a situation. <laughs> How should I say this? It's a situation like this. If you do that, you're going to create enemies. If you don't do it, then the people that comes in are going to create enemies. Right. We, we really need to uh, police the area more. The community need to be conscious of what's going on. Mm -hmm. Every island need to be more conscious of what's going on. The fishermen need to know that, uh, well, if, 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 this is, if, this, if it goes, if we have no more groupers, no more counts, no more lobster, at the end of the day, we have nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, then it become, uh, like uh, some part of the United States, you can't find one, or some other places in the world where you cannot find one. Mm -hmm. you know, then, if you go to think about how expensive it would be to buy it from other places, I think it's time we stop and uh, try and preserve what we have. About the state of the conch fishery here in the Berry Islands. The conch fishery here is. 
pretty stable. We still have quite a number of areas that have a lot of towns. We have Kong Big Kong bed between, yeah, and Great Stirrup, which is a shallow area. And then the deeper area are off Great Stirrup, south and deeper water, we have a lot of Kong. We are able to have a lot of Kong fishermen. As a matter of fact, most of the Kong fishermen or the Nassau fish Kong in the berries, either in the south berries or in the north berries. So we are supplying more islands more than, than, more, here. More <laughs> than Kong, the Nassau than, yeah. <laughs> the, than we can swim here. And you said Just, just saw it as I mean, just so they know how far. Oh, how far? Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. Okay. I think you should respect the commercial fishermen who come and do this. If you get local people who live here and want to go and get 50 pounds, I mean, just... That's no problem. See, so if anything, it will be to zone the area. Yeah. Zone it for commercial fish because that's, yeah. because that's yeah. what's yeah. killing it. Yeah. If I go and get 50 but pounds, so if somebody go and get 15,000 pounds, <laughs> See, the whole thing with zoning and, and stuff like that is it's still hard to police. Yeah. It's, well, it's still hard to police. Because, I mean, not every day whoever does enforcement are able to, you know, police the area effectively as it's supposed to. But I, I do agree that, you know, if the area doesn't include a good breeding okay, so Once the guys in the fishing boat know that you have an uh, officer here and he, they do see that with boat trolling, trust me. Whatever they do it, they're going to ease up. Now, if they don't see nobody come by, you know it's the best, there, yeah. you know it's probably the best and most affordable item. Probably picking a person from each of these kids. Like mm -hmm. probably Chester and Lila, but he has a boat. Believe me, he, he would run anybody he see in that area. Yeah, right? what, probably what? somebody out of Chubb, uh, somebody from Vale Key. You get three guys who coordinate, and they see commercial fishermen. I mean, if I sight somebody right in my area, I know. Mm -hmm. but. For me to run up to be the little harbor looking for somebody. I never know anyone so one of a kind. No, the way she moves to her own beat. She has the qualities of a queen. She's a queen. Ooh, ooh, what a natural beauty. No need no makeup to be a cutie. She's a queen. <laughs> She's a queen. And when they ask what a good woman's made of, she's not afraid and ashamed of who she is. She's royal, yeah, so royal. And I need her in my life. I never knew anyone so one of a kind. Until the night that I see you rise.